Hi, I'm Joel Mulkey, founder and CEO of Big Leaf Networks. Today I'm going to show you Big Leaf Seamless Failover, where we can move any internet based application between ISP circuits in real time without dropping user sessions. I'll show you the setup we've got here today. We have a Big Leaf router that would go on site at your business location. We have ISP1 connected into WAN1 on the router. We have ISP2 into WAN2 and our LAN into the LAN port. Typically the LAN would be connected to your existing firewall so you don't have to redo your firewall rules or in a future release we're going to have full firewall functionality available as well. This switch here represents an ISP network so taking this cable out would fail an ISP connection but we like to have a switch in place to represent that we're not just detecting the status of this port going up or down. So We're actually going to unplug this cable here and you'll see that failover occurs at that time. Now let's take a look at the test. On the bottom middle here, we have a ping running from our local computer here out through the Big Leaf service to uh, Google's web server. On the top here, we have an SSH session to a remote web server, a Big Leaf web server. Uh, on the far right, we have something a little different. So, you know, these pings are pretty straightforward. This application here, we have a web browser and we have a join.me web conferencing session running. So we're showing that we can fail over a web conferencing session in real time. On the far left over here, we have a remote desktop session to a Windows server where we can you know, pull up and, and use normally. But we also have a browser on that Windows server that is viewing the web conference that we're broadcasting from our local computer. Uh, so now we're going to fail the ISP1 circuit and show how the failover works. So you can see we've got the ping running here, we've got the, uh, the join.me session broadcasting. Okay, so the circuit has failed. You can see we lose a few pings real briefly and everything comes back. We have our uh, SSH session working with no problems, our remote desktop session works fine, and our web conference is unaffected. You can see that all of these real-time applications that would totally break with typical failover mechanisms uh, are basically unaffected by the failure of an internet circuit. Now we'll plug the ISP circuit back in and you can see what happens then. Okay, so the circuit's plugged in and the Big Leaf router is detecting that it has come back online. It actually won't put it into use for 20 to 40 seconds depending on quality uh, because we want to make sure that your traffic isn't put on a circuit that has just recently had an outage. So it'll over time detect that that's come back up and bring that circuit back into the available load balancing. Thanks for watching this demo of Big Leaf's Seamless Failover. If you'd like to learn more about that or some of our other features like dynamic quality of service and circuit-aware load balancing, please drop us a line. We'd love to chat. Thanks a lot and have a great day.